All right, in this video, we're going to look at utility and expected utility using a graph. A med's utility as a function of wealth is displayed in the figure. A med faces a risky gamble. If a med wins the gamble, his wealth is. So if he wins the gamble, he's going to be up here getting utility of about 325 which corresponds to $160 of wealth. So if a med wins a gamble, his wealth is 160. If a med loses a gamble, his wealth will be $40, corresponding to a utility of 175. If the probability of winning the gamble is two thirds, his expected value of wealth is. So, two-thirds times 160, where the 160 is if he wins a gamble, so there's a two-thirds chance he'll win the gamble, get $160. On the other hand, there is a one-third chance that he will lose and have only $40. So two-thirds chance of winning, one-third chance of losing, and the values of winning here and the values if he lose gives us an expected value of $120. So we're going to graph and find the expected utility. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that $120 that we found in the last slide, and we're going to move it up to this cord, this expected utility cord, and come across and we get a value of 275 for utility. So expected utility is 275. Graph and find the utility of the expected value. That is, how much utility would Ahmed receive if his wealth was 120? So if Ahmed had a guaranteed $120, we walk up to the utility function and we get utility of 300. So utility of the expected value here is 300. Is Ahmed risk averse? Yes, the utility of the expected value which is 300, is greater than the expected utility of 275. He prefers a guaranteed $120 to a risky gamble that has an expected value of $120. Okay, that's it.